Yo, 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 y'all probably wondering what the hell is going on. We knew, we knew, we rebranded, we coming, baby. But we still going shy of it. It's going down. Now, we we, we, we just shopped at the Boston Celtics. It was, ah, I don't know. Well, Jalen Brown, hey, it is what it is. But now we move on to the Brooklyn <laughs> Nets. We going to see what it is. We going to do Chicago Bulls free agent shopping with them. Y'all already know. Hey, we got something else for y'all, too. And that's it. You still got to hit the music first. Come on, yeah. Gang. Yes, sir. Y'all already know what it is. Shot oh, Boys bro. Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby. And I'm with my dog. C-Dub, how you doing, boy? Man, I'm feeling great. We in Brooklyn now, baby. And we coming from the new... Look at this. This is raw. What is this? <laughs> All y'all right, see that is. down there? Y'all see it. It's busted. <laughs> we got everything right there for y'all. It's busted. But, hey, Unc, we shop... With the Atlanta Hawks so far and the Boston Celtics, some very yeah. intriguing pieces. We know yeah. that money is a factor. We know that assets is a factor. But a man can only dream, right? So we move on to Brooklyn. Right now, these guys got Seth Curry, Cam Johnson, Juan Tanabe, David Juan Duke Tana. Jr., and Drew Smith. All coming up as either unrestricted free agents or restricted free agents. I'm gonna let you take the first dive at this. Who you looking at, gang? If you're going, if you're going shopping through the mall and looking at the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets, man. First of all, let me just say this: David Duke, smack your mama in your day. <laughs> smack the shit out of them for naming you that. They know better than that. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we going, <laughs> we going with uh, Seth Curry. Got to be the obvious one when you look at it. It already fits a need. Seth Curry, I think he's uh, res- unrestricted, unrestricted free, free agent. agent. Seth Curry. So, so it's you got to come with that bag. I don't, you know, I ain't into the numbers of what the Bulls got and everything, what they can afford. But Seth Curry will definitely be a player that can fit in with the Bulls right away. He could probably. St- Start if I want to say and come in. He is a 40% three point shooter, one of the best three pointers shooters in NBA history. His accuracy is incredible. He is a Curry boy. Okay. <laughs> and then I want to go to Cam Johnson. Man, I like Cam Johnson too. Young kid, shoot that thing, long body, play defense, rebound. He can run up and down the floor. He'll dunk it on your head. He'll fit well, too, at the fourth spot for the Chicago Bulls. But he does kind of lack sometimes. He does uh, disappear in some games. He does disappear. But for the most part, he is supremely talented. He's still young. He's still got to learn how to play. He looks just like my godson, too. Oh, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Fabio. Shout out to Fabio. Oh, but, bro. But, he, but, but Cam Johnson and Seth Curry are the two players I'm looking at first. Um, bro, I ain't mad at you though. For real though, the, the I'm I'm a, I'm gonna just go ahead and echo the same exact thing. You look at Seth Curry. My guy's only making eight million. where well, he made eight million last year. Chicago Bulls. I know we got mid level exceptions. I know we got a uh, potentially Vooch coming off the books. There's there's re- some rumors. Yeah, nothing solidified yet that Vooch might be being looked at by the Milwaukee Bucks. Just a yeah. little bit of rumors. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how true it is or whatnot. But there could be some money coming off the books. You still got Lonzo Ball. We don't know if the front office is going to the uh, the league and saying, hey, we're trying to get this, you know, uh, exception or whatever it's called coming off the books. But you definitely take a look at Seth Curry. I think Cam Johnson will be harder to acquire simply because that's the t- that's one of the players that the Brooklyn Nets traded for. I would imagine that they would absolutely want to keep him. You know what I'm saying with the team because that's what you trade you that's who you traded for and he's a young guy with good talent definitely can shoot the three add some size you know what I'm saying he does lack a little bit but I still think that he's a solid player so that hey that's just what it is but uh you did mention you one of your guys early on I believe a week or two ago you was looking at Cam 
Thomas. Oh, bro, because not Johnson, Thomas, y'all. We ain't Thomas, gonna confuse the two. <laughs> they got a lot of killer cams on this team for sure. <laughs> but uh, I was looking at Cam Thomas, and he had a a crazy, like a crazy season. Like I think he had like four, five, three, four games where he scored forty points in a row. And then we get to the playoffs, and then the coach didn't even play the guy. I think it was Jock. Was it Jock Vaughn? Jock yeah. Vaughn even played the guy. Like damn, he could put points on the board, and they struggled to score. This kid will instantly come in this in this team and put up points. He will be a threat on the floor. He's still young. He's still learning to play the NBA basketball game. And I know you still he still got a lot of years left on his contract. What do you say? Two, three more years or something like that. I think he up in 2020. His con yeah, so like a year, like two years. His contract expires in 2024. So I think if 2025, we go ahead, correction. 2025. 2025. So they will have think, to trade for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think if you was going to trade for somebody, you go and get this kid. It won't cost you much. Uh, it won't cost you much to trade for him. You probably go one for one. Even Look at this. You go and trade for Seth Curry. You have him as an added piece into that trade. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. I'm not AK or Eversley. Y'all make it happen. Cam Thomas is an athlete. He's a shooter extraordinaire. He just needs somebody to have patience. And the only thing I worry about is a young player playing with Billy Donovan. But I think the guy is so talented, he'll instantly come in here and be a threat for a double-digit score for the season. Coming off I, the bench. I, I like what he could do, definitely, because he had a couple 40-point 40, 40, uh, games, I believe, this, this season. In a row. It, and, bro, like, it was crazy. Um, I know it wasn't the best results for the team as a whole, but I also think that you can use that to help mold that young player. And that's exactly what you should be doing anyway. You know what I'm saying? You should be helping these young guys mold into good basketball players, especially if you are a solid coach. I don't think Jock Vaughn is a bad coach, but I also believe that if you want to be a great coach, you have to develop talent. And you got to set clear objectives for these young players. Let them know, hey, this game, I want you to do work on this. In the offseason, I want you to work on this. You got to set those expectations and those goals out for those young players. But one thing we can't deny is that Cam Thomas is a damn scorer. The guy was he was placed in the starting lineup after being on the bench, and he coming in and dropping 40. That says something about him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. give him credit with that. Yeah, I give him credit. It did when I look at this. This lineup, maybe that you don't they don't bring back Patty Mills. Patty Mills would be okay. And maybe they want to trade Patty Mills. Uh also, what is that one guy? That uh, was another that's a that's a actually a good one too. Cause Patty Mills, shit, did we I don't even think we seen much of him in the no, playoffs. And no. you know what I'm saying? He's a vet or whatever. So I think that was pretty, you know, you gotta you gotta at least explore all the options, especially if you want to improve the team. And we know that shooting. Is a de facto, bro. Shooting is a major problem with the Chicago Bulls, so we definitely need to make sure that shooting is good for this team. How about a package of Patty Mills and Steph Curry? Did that cure the shooting for the Chicago Bulls if we don't have to give up much? Let's say we give them a – I know Javante, Javante Green is a, a free agent, right? He ain't got years yeah, he left. Will be. Okay, uh, we find somebody to to trace. Give him Marco. Let's just go ahead and say, just throw Marco. Out <laughs> Give him <there>. Marco, <laughs> and let us get self, self, and um, Patty Mills. With that, well, you shooter, wouldn't even have to trade for Seth to see a free agent. So you saying right. they, so they sign him and then trade him or yeah, something like that. But then yeah. I think I think is it is I think it'll be solid. But I think now. You really going small now. But that's what Billy Donovan like if we keep it in the buck. He like playing small ball because these two guys are short. It's but you can't leave them. Can't <laughs> leave them. And true. you know what was one of the biggest problems for the Bulls? The floor strunk. They clogged that paint because we ain't had the shooters out there. Most of the most games, we couldn't hit a three-pointer to save our life. You're not leaving self, and you're not leaving Patty Mills. Floor is open. And then with that, I'm good with DeMar staying. If you do that, if you have shooters like this, you got two deadly shooters like that. I'm good with Demar Stan, and Zach is gonna have a field day. <laughs> with shooters like this, come on, that's fair though. Right? You know what I'm saying? And then, I mean, we did go have like what eight guards. <laughs> so, <laughs> how many guards did we have on this team? So Ten. you take, so, so you, <laughs> bro, so you take a few away and you add some on that that are legit shooters. You know what I'm saying? To where you can't, you don't have to question 
how good of a shooter they are. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. Patty Mills, he signed for another two years as well. So, yeah. it is. I mean, but he don't cost much. I mean, they, they just gave him a two year, 13 million. So, he says yeah. his contract expired in 2024. So, it's something you definitely would have to call and acquire about and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I think I know this answer already. Would you look at Joe? Nah, hell no. Nah. Never mind. I don't want to look at Joe Harris. He make too much money. <laughs> and he, and he broken down. He always get hurt. He got the Chris Paul disease. Every year he get hurt when in the most opportune time. My yeah. goodness, can't rely on that. The best ability is availability. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So for me, I mean, she Joe Joe Harris thirty one, Patty Mills thirty four. But you don't really need a, a young guy if you're just looking for a guy to come in and be a shooter, right? No, nah, we just need somebody to hit some shots. I don't give a damn if they, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Close to retirement. Eh? I don't give a damn if they got a whole gray beard. I don't give a damn as long as they can shoot the ball, play defense, and be competent on the basketball floor. Yeah, because Seth Curry, he about to be 33. But that's cool with me. That's cool with me. It ain't like he over athletic, like he jumping over people. He just sit down and he shoot and he can. And don't count, don't discount that he could get and make his own shots sometimes too. He mm-hmm. could go in the mid range. He could get to the basket, not like his brother, but he decent. And I bet you he won some one on ones against against uh, Steph. That's I think his they brother. mentioned that before, but he definitely, oh bro. But hey, you got any final not thoughts? My on brother, that? though. He, he, <laughs> he talking about that, my brother. <laughs> He's there, yeah, though. man. Bone hey. rush your way. <laughs> Make the boys great again, like mm-hmm. my nephew said, bro. Make the boys great again. So, uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets, the Brooklyn Nets. If you think you got some pieces over there, I think this this will be the most intriguing city with the most pieces that we've been through of so yet. far. You think so? I think Brooklyn has been more more of a more know. of a choice. The choice been widespread on Brooklyn. Uh more choices. I mean, yeah. kind of. At least when it comes to the free agents. Uh, yeah. I mean, Seth Curry, but I know. When we, yeah, I don't think Atlanta had that many free agents available. Nah, we had to do we, we we was had to we was going yeah they had Gallinari. I think we was gonna have to do a bunch of trades to at least get players that fit what we what we trying to build as the YouTube GM. So, bro, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> make the Bulls great again, on bro. Make the Bulls great again, y'all heard it here first, <laughs> um, bro, because we stink. <laughs> Any final thoughts, bro? You good? Man, I'm straight, man. Where we going, man? Where we going next, man? Bro, Brooklyn was decent. Where we going? Brooklyn was decent. I ain't going to lie to you. Hey, next we move on to the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah. Ooh, that's, a, that's around the corner from you, nephew. Let me um, go bro, take the bus. Cool. I hop on the flight. Um, bro. <laughs> um, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, take a little trip. Oh, um, bro. Um, bro. Mike, hey. let's go see the Hornets before Mike sell that thing. Oh, bro. Um, bro. Yeah. And and auntie, we ain't forget about your voicemail. We gonna touch it. We just had to keep on with the shopping, baby. Keep oh, on bro. shopping, oh bro. But uh, hey, y'all already know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let us know how y'all feeling about Brooklyn now. Hey, we definitely been rolling through these uh-huh. three. We three teams down. We got twenty plus more to go. It's busting. So yeah, sit y'all see all of your digs at the bottom. Subscribe for all your latest Bulls content. Send us a text message or a voicemail at that number right below in the middle, 773-242-9219. And, of course, see red This is another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm Bobby. We're, uh, I'm going to catch y'all. We going to catch y'all in Charlotte. <laughs> bro. Oh, bro, Queen City. Let's get it. Come on, yeah.